Looks kind of steep. Yeah, I think we'll stick to the path. This may sound crazy, but what if saving our doubles from execution is how we save ourselves? He's got a point. Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. Save me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. That you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Keep suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I am not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did, like your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You. But you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. That's way off. We gotta stop the kid. No other way to do this. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. 
No one can doubt that. Bad move there, man. Standing up for the kid is probably gonna do us all in. I hope you're wrong. For all our sakes. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? Nope. We never even saw her. Fuck. We met up with Andrew's double. Abraham. He was thinking about testifying against Mary, but good boy Andrew talked him out of it. That was a smart move. Are you fucking kidding me? We are seeing glimpses of what happened here hundreds How you of doing? years ago. Not great. Demons from the past? Don't know how much more of this shit I can take. One thing That's I didn't right. see coming, well, I feel like one of the team. Makes no sense. I'm good with that. Never happens to me. Yeah, I hear that. Learned a few things about myself tonight. Shame it had to be from witches and ghosts. This is some serious shit we're in here. Sure, I know. I get how serious this is. I just... Just want us to push through this. And we will. Thanks. Just so wired right now. We need to get moving. Dear. Hold on to me. Whatever happens, do not let go. Leave me! Get out of here with the others! Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. There with that thing. 
Whatever it was, it's gone, and it ain't coming back. I really hope you're right. Only a matter of time before they come after us again. That's a pretty negative outlook you got there. The only way out of this freaking nightmare is to stop Mary, stop her lying. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is, a liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on, let's take a look. Check this out. Hey! They're coming. You can't keep running. I'll make sure they'll find you. That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. Well, no one's been here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage, yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. 
Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task, and I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child, if the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? This is tough. I get that. It would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her, stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like she's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! So what happens now? I'm not sure I did the right thing. I guess at least we know we can influence the outcome. That's gotta be good, right? What do you think? Is he right about this? It went down just like he said. What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. Look at those outfits. This place shut down way, way back. Life as a kid in the 70s. Everything was ahead of me. There's got to be another exit. Maybe on the ground floor? Get over here. You gotta see this. This is too fucking weird. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. 
What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? If it's my nightmare, why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say the same thing. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Come on. So wait, who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like, that really is us in that photo. But they're around the same age as us, as far as I can tell. the story here she leave him for some other guy okay so what's your theory smart guy <laughs> you hear that right below us we need to find a way out of here now That's heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. What's up? You take that side, I'll take this side. Push together, right? Good. Now, push! Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah!
something! Let us know you're okay! Let's go before anything else happens. Daniel out here? No. He's not here yet. Okay, let's keep going. Daniel will be okay. He'll catch us up. Daniel? Where are you, buddy? Andrew! Hey! You guys! I'm up here! Boy, am I happy to see you. At least I'm not the only one damp and disheveled. <sighs> oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Can't get rid of me that easy. And have you spotted that kid, Mary? Not seen her. Try to forget I just saw this. You see that? Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. No one in little hope is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife! There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe! Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I carry no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. Our town is infected with madness. Roy, you by six servants. We have to stop this. Come on, help me. No. 
Look, there can be no more doubting. This is witchcraft. More stones. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of little orc rests in your hands. What happened? Tell me. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? John! What are you doing? I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move!
control. She's in me. We gotta go! Like now! Andrew! Andrew! I need you here! Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. We need to figure a way out of here before that thing finds a way in. Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. Something isn't right is this shitty town's motto.
You're gonna wanna see this. This is for real. Angela and I were married. What was that? Gotta be the girl. Let's go find her. <laughs> She's in here. What the hell? Stay here. This isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. But it has always belonged to Mary, and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so! Liar! Now this tent, child, this creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. This is crazy. These people have lost their freaking minds. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I don't this see child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This Seek your counsel. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his doing. You'll not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. You're messing this up. Carver isn't the one you should be calling out. What must I do to bring Little Hawk back into the line? I fear the Reverend and what he is capable of. If it's the doll that's evil, then destroy the damn doll. Then you'll be rid of it. The Reverend is right to blame the puppets. That is what has cast its spell on Mary. Destroy it, and she will be restored, released from its curse. If the puppet truly holds Mary in an evil grip, then let us destroy it. See if the child can be free from its spell. Reverend, burn the puppet. Destroy it. You must not act in haste. The girl must face the full consequences of My her deeds. My authority is not for questioning. Do as I ask.
did everything you could. Don't blame yourself. None of this is your fault. That's it, right? I figured that if the doll... And then that would be the end of it. You made the right call. No way you could have seen what was gonna happen. That accident is not on you. Whatever questions we still got, they won't be answered now. Let's just get out of here. What's up? You okay? Think we've seen the last of that kid. I'm talking to you. Hey! You should have stayed away. Never come back here. I'll never forget or forgive you for what you did. I don't want any trouble, okay? We're going. And we're not coming back. The only place you should be heading is hell, you goddamn murdering son of a bitch. That's him! What? You need to keep an eye on this guy. He's out of control. You okay, buddy? No, please. Wait. You seem a little confused. You don't understand. traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Just shut up! 
This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need a clear head. What the hell is going on in there? Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in. Hey! They're coming. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. It's okay. I'm gonna be just fine. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a bad effort. Some found redemption, some didn't. All you're doing. And you eventually found him, the bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. <sighs> Till we meet again. Maybe in the South Pacific, or the Arabian Desert, or somewhere else. But we will meet again. At least one more time. Your 
more command in you but move your icy hand. Oh, death, oh, death, would you spare me over for another year? Nor age, nor youth, nor silver, nor gold, nothing satisfies me but your soul. The only young, the rich, and the poor alike with me will have to go. Oh, death, oh, death, won't you spare me over for another year? For another year Oh, death Oh, death Won't you spare me over For another Demons of the underworld. 